Welcome to our detailed comparison video where we put two giants of the solar energy storage world head to head, the Tesla Powerwall 3 and the SolarEdge Home System. Both offer impressive DC architecture, a testament to the pioneering vision these companies had many years ago at the launch of the Powerwall 1 product. Now, in today's world though, we're gonna be divide diving into what makes a system unique and how they stand up against each other in today's market because a lot of things have changed in the last eight years. But before we get into this, just as a quick reminder, go ahead and subscribe to the channel by using the button down below and give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And if you're considering making the switch to clean renewable energy, check out the link down there in the description below as well for a hassle-free quote from Pacific Sun Technologies, who's been serving the Southern California area since 2007. Now let's talk solar. For this comparison, we've chosen to design our systems around 40 REC 405 watt alpha pier modules, giving us a hefty 16.2 kilowatt DC solar array to work with. This is, allows us to compare the capabilities of the Powerwall 3 inverter against the Solar Edge's premium residential model, which is their 11.4, under similar conditions. So getting into the comparison right away, you can see the Solar Edge system, 16.2 kilowatts, AC for the inverter, 11.4, 11.5 for Powerwall, inverter efficiency 99% against Powerwall's 97.5%, inverter backup capability 11.4 against Powerwall's 11.5. So far, very neck and neck. Yes, Solar Edge is known to have some of the most efficient uh, inverters and optimizers on the market, and that definitely is showing here. Now one thing that definitely stands out against the two is the battery's backup capability. Each Solar Edge home battery can only provide 5 kilowatts of continuous power. So if you want to get 11.4 kilowatts from your inverter during the day, it would need to be in conjunction with the solar. And But that's where the Powerwall 3 kind of shines is that single Powerwall 3 unit, whether it's coming from the sun or the battery, always provides 11.5 kilowatts. And you'll, we'll be able to go over that with the pricing here soon. Now, in terms of the inverter warranties, Solar Edge, standard 12 year warranty, that's kind of been their flagship since the get go. And it's a pretty good warranty as a standard. You can always extend it if you want to up to 25 years, I believe, but it does cost some more money. So just keep that in mind. But Powerwall 3, standard 10 year warranty. They both offer a 10 year battery warranty. That's pretty standard across the industry. And both of them are 70% battery retention during that 10 years. So keep that in mind. Now, one thing that kind of stands out for Powerwall is they actually have a 10 year labor reimbursement warranty for their certified partners. This isn't so valuable for you as much as it's valuable for that certified partner network that you have with Tesla. So if, or even with SolarEdge during that five year period. So if you, that company you purchased a system from went out of business, well you can always reach out to the manufacturer and they're gonna help subsidize some of the costs related to servicing the equipment if there's an issue. So I kinda like that the Powerwall 3 is offering that for the full 10 years on the equipment. In terms of monitoring, both systems have monitoring. You're gonna be able to see your solar production. You're gonna be able to see your batteries. You're gonna see what you're consuming in your home. You're gonna see what you're exporting to the grid. You have a lot of control within these apps. Now, one thing that SolarEdge has that Tesla doesn't is module level monitoring or per level monitoring. So within your SolarEdge app, you're actually going to be able to see the solar production of each individual module. And that's really valuable for incidences if something was to go array up on the roof, you're able to quickly get that addressed with your certified installer. Whereas with Tesla, we would have to do a little bit more troubleshooting and utilize their string level monitoring on our end. You don't get to see that on your end from my understanding, but hey, it's one of those things that you just have to kind of gauge. And you'll see how SolarEdge's power optimizers help improve the system's overall performance compared to the Tesla Powerwall 3 that doesn't have that type of technology. Now, they both have, from what I understand, a virtual power plant network available that you can sign up for. I couldn't tell if SolarEdge's was only in Great Britain for right now and it's coming to the US or it is available in the US. I, I couldn't really find that on their website exactly. 
As for the Powerwall 3, I do know that there is a VPP network you can sign up for. Uh, Tesla's had that going for quite some time. So I'm, I would say both of them have a VPP network. And um, yeah, that's pretty safe to say that it's important to know the solar edge system though, in terms of load shedding is there because of the battery's backup capability. So if you got the 11.4 kilowatt inverter in this configuration, you did one battery, you're going to want a load shedding device because you have a lot of power during the day. So you can pretty much back up the whole home, but you don't have is a lot of power in the evening. So that load shedding device is going to shave off those larger loads that the battery can't handle in the evenings. You don't have that with the Powerwall 3 because the one battery provides 11.5 kilowatts, regardless if the sun is shining. In terms of bi-directional charging, this is definitely a feature that I think is going to grow in popularity and you're probably gonna to wanna to consider looking at when you're looking at different systems for purchasing. Because all these things, all these extras that I'm going over are really things to keep in mind for the future use of your product, right? They're, they're not, they don't always have an inherent value right up front. Like the VPP network, there's not like, you're not gonna make thousands of dollars on a VPP network right now, but there is the potential for it in the future. So having that, knowing that product, that manufacturer offers that is, is good for you. The load shedding, having home automations, that's something in the right direction. I think that's good to have. In terms of the bi-directional charging, being able to use your car for your home backup is really valuable. Those things got 100 kilowatt hours. I'd love to use it in my home. SolarEdge has that coming soon. Powerwall already has it available with the Powerwall 3 through PowerShare, and it's currently only available with the Cybertruck. So keep that in mind. So as we switch over to pricing and solar production, I just want to kind of note that we use a tool that's developed by Open Solar, and the algorithms that they have in the back end that are used are, were developed by the National Renewable Energy Laboratory and the Department of Energy, and they've integrated Google Solar API and Near Maps for shading analysis and, and 3D modeling on homes. So when we're using our estimation tool to estimate a system's production, like we're taking into account a lot of things and because we've looked at a lot of things and we're really happy that we have a software that we can use to estimate pretty accurately what a system is going to perform. And we've cross-referenced this with a lot of customers. We found that a lot of times what we estimate is a little bit under, you know, two, three, four percent sometimes from what they actually generate in the real world. And that's good. I'd rather you generate more power than less power. And here we are with the solar edge configuration with 10 kilowatt hours, right? You can kind of see all the equipment right here. Power optimizers, we're using the S440s. We have one solar edge battery. You have the complete backup configuration, REC panel, 16.2, 11.4 kilowatt inverter. You can see the system's gonna generate just under 24,700 kilowatt hours a year. And you have a net system cost of $38,203. This is after the 30% federal investment tax credit and after the uh, self-generation incentive program rebate for the state of California. So if you go solar with Pacific Sun Technologies, we handle that state rebate. A lot of companies don't care to do it. It, it is a little bit of money. It's nothing crazy. And you can see that down here. It's about $1,450 or so for the 10 kilowatt hour battery with SolarEdge. It's based on the storage capacity. So if we switch over to the Powerwall 3, you can see it jumps up to $1,822. So let's go back up to the top and look at the Powerwall 3 real quick. You can see that the Powerwall 3 generates less energy, 23,600 kilowatt hours a year. And we have a purchase price of $33,000. So the purchase price definitely went down about $5,000. That's a that's pretty good. Uh, I wonder what that'll play into in terms of the return on investment. It's probably about a year uh, difference for that $5,000. Lifetime electricity bill savings, SolarEdge, $193,000. Powerwall 3, $193,000 and 700 bucks. It's not a big difference in terms of the lifetime savings. You just might be spending a little bit more money on that solar edge system and it might be beneficial to you for that extra thousand kilowatt hours that you generate every year, right? So if you factor in that solar panel degradation, things like that, those are things you want to consider. We're going with the REC panels, so the degradation is really, really low. They have a 92% power retention guarantee at year 25, so you are losing next to nothing over 25 years. Um, so if you're gonna go with the Powerwall 3, you probably want to pair it up with a premium panel 
to ensure that that optimization you don't have isn't factor isn't affecting your overall production at the end of the day and it's mitigated you know if you have a good panel it can be mitigated for that 25 years you're still going to generate less energy like in this we're showing a home with a lot of shading going on you can see it there's a lot of trees and i picked this for a reason to show the value of the solar edge optimizers on a site configuration like this so and if we switch over to the solar edge 20 kilowatt hour design so now we're going to go somewhere in between right i designed three solar edge systems two power wall systems and i did that because solar edge increases 10 kilowatt hours of time and we can do up to three batteries on one solar edge inverter so as you can see the system production is pretty much the same no change there net system cost increase so we went from thirty-eight thousand dollars to $42,000, so about $4,000 more for that extra 10 kilowatt hours of storage. You do have more backup capabilities, probably won't need that load shedding device, but check it out, your lifetime electricity bill savings also increase. And that's because under the new solar billing program here in California, you're, it's actually more valuable to have storage than have 100% offset. You want 100% offset, but the battery and having more batteries actually can play out to be better for you long term, especially when you're using, you know, in this design, we're, we're looking at someone using 22,000, 23,000 kilowatt hours a year. That's a lot of energy. That's like seven, 800 bucks a month on average under Southern California Edison territory. So solar edge, 42.6. If we go to Powerwall, we're at 38. 39 so the delta between the two is much smaller you are getting more storage with the powerwall 3 configuration when you add a second battery so you're having 27 kilowatt hours versus the solar edge with 20 kilowatt hours again you take that hit in production and but your savings did go up uh, another thousand two thousand dollars so it's one of those balancing acts in what you're trying to do now the powerwall 3 with the two configure two batteries tied to it and then the solar edge with all three batteries tied to it you know those are the two closest together and you can see that you know you're you're surpassing in terms of your estimated annual solar production you might be asking why is that and it has to do with the system i designed is larger than the inverter's rating so that excess energy does get clipped at certain intervals of the year when you're producing really well when you add more storage with both of these, whether it's the Tesla system or the solar system, both of them have the ability to let DC energy that would have been clipped pass directly into the battery because you're doing a DC to DC recharging. And that's really beneficial for this type of configuration when you need solar and storage paired together because then you're not losing any energy along the way during those peak summer months and you're actually charging the battery faster. There is one bottleneck worth noting on the Powerwall 3 design and that's the fact that it only allows five kilowatts of continuous charging. The same as for Solar Edge, but it's per battery. So as you add three batteries, you're getting more capacity in there. So if we looked at the Solar Edge with three batteries, we see we surpassed 25,000 kilowatt hours of solar production. If we go to one battery, we're at 24,000. So we're already generating more power than the Tesla system because of the optimizers. But in that same sense, you can actually generate more power because you didn't lose it. It doesn't get clipped off during that peak, peak summer month because we're designing around a large configuration. We're putting a lot of DC energy, 16.2 kilowatts of DC energy on 11.4 kilowatt inverter. The Solar Edge inverter and the Tesla Powerwall support up to 20 kilowatts or more. So Solar Edge definitely more, but I wouldn't go above 16. I think that was, this is kind of like the cap I put on these units. You could push it a little bit higher, maybe go 18, 19, but that's kind of where you're going to want to be. You don't want to be too DC AC ratio off. But yeah, that's kind of the configuration you have here. I think they're both phenomenal products. I'm really ecstatic with the Powerwall 3. I don't know in every situation that optimizers are the best approach for uh, a homeowner, 
in my opinion. I think everybody's site varies. In a situation like this, someone will have to decide, you know, is the optimization more valuable than the storage capacity or the price or the backup capabilities? I mean, you got to kind of factor in what exactly you're looking for at the end of the day, because there's a lot of different variables when it comes to making the switch to clean renewable energy with Pacific Sun Technologies. So we offer, obviously, the Tesla Powerwall 3 and the Solar Edge home hub system. And then we have Enphase, we have the Canadian Solar EP Cube, we have the Franklin whole home battery. We definitely have a range of solutions available for our customers because there's different products for different situations depending on your wants and needs. For us right now, solar and storage in California are a big deal and the launch of the Powerwall 3 being such aggressively priced is kind of hard to dismiss. Even if it doesn't have module level monitoring, you are able to get whole home backup at a really low cost. If we go and look at the actual purchase price of the entry systems. Remember, this is a cash purchase. So it's best thing you can do for your particular situation is to get a quote from us by using the link down in the description below. So that way we can give you the most accurate pricing for your specific needs and wants. So here's your solar edge system. You're looking at about 56,600. And then if you go to the Powerwall 3, you get you're under $50,000. So that's again, before the tax credit, before the state rebate, those little things, it's like, ah, I don't know. You know, you're gonna have to decide for yourself. I think they're both really good products. I think SolarEdge, I've definitely proven, has some advantages to its technology and its architectural attempt at DC. And I think Powerwall in their approach is really well done. So uh, at the end of the day, you know, the best thing you can do is just do something. You know, not do anything is not what you want to do. You want to make a decision in going solar. And if you make that decision with SolarEdge, awesome, you're making a great choice. If you make that, that decision to go with the Powerwall 3, awesome, you're making a great choice because you're making a choice to become sustainable, to become green, to make an improvement on your way of life. And I think that's what's really important at the end of the day. So I appreciate your time and I'll see you in the next one comparing well, I guess you'll have to just wait to see. So be sure to subscribe. See you in the next one.